Let's take a look at the top five fifth generation fighters today. Given the recent rise in global tensions, some would argue that we are entering into a new Cold War era, and as a result, a new arms race has kicked off. This is evidenced by the almost prolific new weapons platforms that are being introduced, and at the forefront of this is of course, fighter plane development. Today, the cutting edge of fighter plane design is represented by what is collectively known as fifth generation fighters. A fifth generation fighter can be defined as having some or all of the following characteristics. Developed mostly or exclusively in the 21st century, making extensive use of stealth, the ability to supercruise, advanced avionics, sensor fusion allowing for networking with other battle space elements, and low probability of intercept radar or LPIR. Today, we will take a look at the top five fifth generation fighters in service, along with some that may be entering service soon. Before we get started, make sure to take notes of the rankings you agree with, as well as the ones you don't, and comment below. All right, let's get into it. Coming in at number five is the Chinese Shenyang FC-31, which is a mid-sized multi-role fighter intended to be used on carriers, as well as as an export competitor to the Lockheed F-35. The FC-31 has two internal weapons bays capable of holding two medium-range missiles in each bay. Additionally, there are hardpoints under each of the wings for non-stealthy missions. Although still under development, here are some estimated specifications for the FC-31. Engines, two WS-19 afterburning turbofans producing 24,000 pounds of thrust each with afterburner. Maximum speed, Mach 1.8. Combat range, 670 nautical miles on internal fuel. Armament, six external hardpoints and an internal bay with a total payload capacity of 18,000 pounds. The FC-31 is capable of carrying both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. And when it comes to sensors, it is equipped with the KLJ-7A AESA radar, along with a distributed aperture system or DAS early warning system and an electro-optical targeting system or EOTS. Developed by Shenyang, which is the oldest aircraft manufacturer in the People's Republic of China, and also a subsidiary of the AVIC or Aviation Industry Corporation of China, the FC-31 is intended to be more than a match for existing fourth generation fighters such as the F-16 and F-18. However, most experts agree that the FC-31 would not fare as well against the F-35 and F-22, depending on numbers deployed and the quality of its pilots. The FC-31 comes in at number 5 on this list as it is not yet fully in production, and planned build numbers are not yet known. However, it could move up the list in the near future as more capabilities are revealed and actual operational data is available. One final note on the FC-31. If it looks somewhat familiar, that may be because in 2009 the Wall Street Journal reported that terabytes of secret information were stolen by hackers from the databases of the Joint Strike Fighter program, better known as the F-35. There is speculation that some of this led to the development of the FC-31. Coming in at number 4 is the F-35. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a single-engine, single-seat, multi-role stealth fighter which is tasked with performing a variety of missions including strike, air superiority, surveillance, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare and is intended to operate until 2070. The F-35 is actually a family of aircraft that is produced under three main variants. The CTOL or conventional takeoff and landing F-35A, the Stolvol or short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B, and the CV Catobar or catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery F-35C. For the purposes of this list, we will focus on the F-35A. The F-35A is armed with the internal GAU-22A 25mm 4-barrel rotary cannon, typically carrying 180 rounds of ammunition. Additionally, the F-35 has four internal stations and two weapons bays, which are used to maintain its stealth profile, and six external hardpoints, three under each wing that can be used for non-stealth missions. The internal stations can carry up to 5,700 pounds, while the external stations can hold up to 15,000 pounds. Total weapons payload capacity is 18,000 pounds. The F-35 can carry a diverse range of weapons including air-to-air, air-to-ground, and even nuclear weapons. When it comes to sensors, the F-35 is equipped with the AN-APG-81, an actively electronically scanned array or AESA radar, an evolution of the F-22's AN-APG-77 radar, 
The APG-81 radar includes air-to-air -air modes found on the F-22 along with advanced air-to-ground modes that utilize high-resolution mapping, the ability to track multiple ground targets, and electronic warfare capabilities. The F-35 also makes use of the Distributed Aperture System, or DAS, which is a 360-degree spherical situational awareness system. Among other features, DAS provides detection and tracking of missiles, fire control, tracking of friendly aircraft to enhance tactical maneuvering, and navigation assistance for both day and night modes. Additionally, the F-35 also incorporates a sensor platform which provides both forward-looking infrared or FLIR and infrared search and track or IRST functionality, which is known as an Electro-Optical Targeting System or EOTS. Unlike other fighters, the F-35 does not have a heads-up display or HUD. Instead, the F-35's pilots make use of a helmet-mounted display system or HMDS to view flight and combat data at all times. The HMDS also receives image data from the DAS and allows the pilot to effectively see through the aircraft. Additionally, the helmet allows for high angles of boresight target locking, meaning that the pilot can lock a target and fire a missile at another aircraft that is not oriented to the F-35's nose. The F-35 certainly has had unprecedented cost overruns and has taken longer to bring into frontline service than anyone ever thought. However, the program did have some lofty goals and set about not only to be the best fifth generation fighter and air to everything platform, but also to be made available to allies. The reason why the F-35 is currently ranked at number four is due to the fact that it is still working through some issues, including the long planned Block 4 upgrade, which still does not yet have a completion date. Fixing the known issues with the F-35 and bringing the existing aircraft up to Block 4 standards could see the F-35 moving up this list. Coming in at number 3 is the J-20. The Chengdu J-20, also known as Mighty Dragon, is a single-seat twin-engine stealth fighter designed as an air superiority fighter with precision strike capability. Having made its maiden flight in 2011 and entering service in 2016, the J-20 is one of the newer fighters on this list. The J-20 is powered by two Saturn AL-31 FM2 afterburning turbofans, each generating 33,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner. Capable of estimated speeds of over Mach 2, the J-20 is a fast-moving, stealthy threat designed to strike at carrier battle groups or key strategic assets, such as airborne tankers like the KC-135 and early warning aircraft like the E-3 Sentry. Capable of carrying the PL-15 missile which has a 300km effective range and Mach 4 speeds, the threat to these support aircraft is significant. Additionally, a reported service ceiling of 66,000 feet and a combat range of 1,200 nautical miles further add to this long-range strike capability. The J-20 has three internal weapons bays, broken down as follows. A central main large bay and two smaller lateral bays located behind the air inlets. Furthermore, the J-20 also has four external underwing hardpoints, which can be used to carry fuel tanks to extend its range or additional weapons for non-stealthy missions. The J-20 does not appear to have an internal gun, further emphasizing its apparent role as a long-range standoff first strike attack aircraft. Due to its use of canards, there are questions as to the J-20's stealthiness. This was given some credence as in May of 2018, Indian Su-30s were able to detect Chinese J-20s from several kilometers away. Still, the exact stealth profile is not publicly known. Regardless, the J-20 does appear to be a formidable platform. What keeps it from moving up this list is the relatively low numbers, with between 20 and 50 examples having been built. For the J-20 to climb up this list, between 100 and 200 examples would be needed to maximize its mission flexibility. And finally, similar to the FC-31, it is thought that the aforementioned Joint Strike Fighter data breach was also used in the development of the J-20. Coming in at number 2 is the Sukhoi Su-57. The newest fighter on this list, the Sukhoi Su-57, NATO reporting name Felon, is known internally in Russia as the T-50. With its maiden flight in 2010 and entering service in 2020, the Su-57 is Russia's first stealth fighter and is intended to replace the successful MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters. Along with its stealth characteristics, the Felon can supercruise and is said to be super maneuverable thanks to its 3D thrust vectoring. The Felon has six internal hardpoints along with six external ones for non-stealthy missions. These hardpoints can mount a wide variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, along with cluster bombs. Additionally, the Su-57 is an internal 30mm 
GSH 30-1 Auto Cannon, which adds submission flexibility and provides a close range weapon option. Interestingly, in keeping with Russia's military doctrine, the Su-57's role is more of a counter stealth aircraft rather than a first strike option. The Su-57 is forward optimized for stealth, indicating that it could be used to close in with hostile stealth aircraft and then engage them at close range, where the Felon's thrust vectoring could be used to negate any advantages an opposing stealth fighter may have in close combat. Additionally, Russia has shown intentions to adapt the new R-37M long-range missile to the Su-57, which could make it a stealth sniper flying high and engaging support aircraft. Furthermore, the hypersonic KH-47M2 missile could make the Su-57 a deadly long-range maritime strike aircraft. Despite its recent adoption by the Russian Air Force, the Su-57 actually does have combat experience. In both 2018 and 2019, prototype Su-57s perform combat operations in Syria, with reports of all tasks being successfully fulfilled. A formidable new fighter, the Su-57 comes in at number 2 on this list. What keeps it from the top spot is its relatively low numbers and by extension the lack of pilots trained to fly the Felon. Still, with increasing numbers and the possibility of export nations adopting the Su-57, the Felon could be gunning for the top spot in a few years. Before we get to number 1, let's take a look at some honorable mentions that could someday appear on this list. Turkey is working with BAE Systems TAI TFX with a planned first flight in 2026. South Korea and Indonesia are working on the KF-21 Borame fighter which has its first flight planned for 2022. And India is working on the HAL Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft or AMCA which plans to start production by 2027. These fighters no doubt will make an impact for the respective nations and will be the subject of upcoming videos. In the meantime, let's take a look at the number one fifth generation fighter in mid-2021. Coming in at number one is the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. Widely considered the best air superiority fighter in the world, the Lockheed Martin F-22 is a twin-engine, single-seat, all-weather, stealth tactical fighter aircraft. Developed from decades of air combat experience, the F-22 excels in its one true mission, to defeat any air adversary it encounters. This is accomplished by the Raptor's incredible performance, advanced avionics, and stealth profile. Notable features of the Raptor include twin tails, a trapezoidal wing, and a golden canopy which is coated with a thin layer of Indian Tin Oxide or ITO, which acts like an EM shield to maintain stealth characteristics. Having been deployed since 2005, let's take a look at some key specifications for the F-22 Raptor. The F-22 is armed with an internal 20mm M61A2 Vulcan rotary cannon and typically carries 480 rounds of ammunition. Additionally, the F-22 has three internal weapons bays and four external hardpoints. To maintain its stealth characteristics, the F-22 can keep ordnance inside of its weapons bays, briefly opening them to deploy munitions. Loadouts can include both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. The F-22's radar is the ANAPG-77, which is an actively electronically scanned array or AESA radar. Officially, the radar has an operational range of 100 miles, but some speculate that this could be as high as 150 miles with an estimated 250 mile range for narrow beam search. Defensively, the F-22 uses the ANAAR-56 Advanced Missile Launch Detector, which warns the pilot of a missile launch so that evasive maneuvers and countermeasures can be deployed. Additionally, the F-22 also has an ANALR-94 radar warning receiver, which warns the pilot of radar emissions or tracking and is said to have a range of over 250 miles as well. The F-22 was the first and still is the best fifth generation fighter. As of the recording of this video in mid-2021, the combination of operational examples, a proven track record, and highly trained pilots firmly cement the Raptor in the top spot. However, recently the Air Force has indicated that the Raptors could be headed for an early retirement, possibly as early as 2030. Additionally, having its production run cut to less than 180 operational examples means that the Raptor's days are numbered. There are reports of a new 6th generation fighter being tested by the Air Force and the Raptor could be put to pasture to make room for the newer fighter. What do you think? Are some of these fighters ranked too high? Are some ranked too low? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to my Patreons, 
who provide direct support to this channel. If you'd like to become a patron and help videos like this get made, I'll leave a link in the description below. Stay safe and see you next time.